coming to everyone today we will do our last property for the whole numbers that is properties of subtraction as you know that there are some common properties for our operations that we discussed earlier that are closer property commutative associative and identity property but it is not necessary that these four properties are valid or verified for every operation so let's check today that which property satisfy or holds for the whole numbers and which property doesn't so our first property that is our closer property as we know that what does this property states that if a and b are the two whole numbers then if we are adding them it means a plus b then their sum also be a whole number but in addition it is sorry in subtraction it is not addition here here if a and b are two whole numbers if a and b are two whole numbers whole numbers then a minus b it means that the subtraction that the difference of the these two numbers this we have to check whether it its answer is also a whole number or not then we are writing here after our verification so take example that is if a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 4 so a minus b that is their difference it is 5 minus 4 answer is 1 here 1 is what 1 is a whole number it means in this case it is satisfied but we also if our a is 3 and b is 4 then if we subtract these two it is that a minus b it is 3 minus 4 but till now you studied that a larger term can't be subtract from a smaller term but now in your sixth class one concept is also included that is integer in the number system, I told about you the uh, integers that integers may be negative, positive. So, if you subtract these two, 3 minus 4. So, after 3, we come backward. So, after 3, 3, then 2, then 1, 0, then after 0, here this is a number line, here 0, then 1, 2, 3 here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and here minus 4 so we have to when we show the subtraction then we come in backward direction so our first digit it is 3 so here it is 3 and another digit is 4 so we have to come backward up to 4 steps so 1 2 3 4 it means that our answer is this 4 minus 1 but minus 1 is not a whole number whole numbers are start from 0 so minus 1 is not a whole number it means this property is not satisfied then a minus b here may or may not be a minus b may or may not be whole number but we can't uh, take our result on a simple number that is on our uh, verification that is valid so we write that is so closet property is not verified is not verified So come to our next property that is our commutative property. It is our second property. In commutative property, what is the statement or what does this property says that if A and B are the two whole numbers, then if we change the order of the numbers, 
then our answer will be same. So let's check. That is our second is commutative. Is commutative property. If A and B are two whole numbers, then A minus B, it means the difference of A minus B is equal to, if we change their order, it means it becomes B minus A. This property says this, but we have to check that this statement is valid for this whole number or not. So take examples. That is if A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 2. Then first we find A minus B. It means what is the value of A? It is 4 minus what is the value of B? It is 2. So 4 minus 2 it is 2. Next B minus A. What is the value of B? It is 2 minus value of A it is 4. So we have to subtract the larger term from the smaller term. If you have problems in this then you can draw the number line or you write the numbers. So we draw the number line here 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 here minus 1 minus 2 here minus 3. Our first number is 2 it means we have to start from 2. And as you know variable that in subtraction we have to come in backward direction. Second number is 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. It means our answer is minus 2. But what is this? Here is the positive 2. It means 2 is a whole number. But here minus 2. It means both are not equal. So we can write here that A minus B it is not equal to B minus A. And also here that is not equal to. And write at last. So commutative property. Commutative property is not verified. Is not verified. In this way you can check for any whole number. And you can subtract. Then our next property which is our associative property. In associative property how many numbers we need? That is we need three numbers to show the property, associative property. So what is the statement that if A, B and C are the three whole numbers then if there is an arrangement that first we subtract two numbers, then subtract three number. Then we change the positions and the order of the number. Then we will get the same answer or not. So check here. It is our third property that is associative. It is our associative property. If A, B and C are three whole numbers, then A minus B minus C. A and B are within brackets. It means first we have to solve this A minus B. Then we subtract C from it. Is equal to A minus B minus C. Here first we have to solve this bracket. It means first we have to subtract B and C. Then subtract it from A. So check that this condition or this property is verified or not. So take examples. If A is equal to 4, B is equal to 2 and C is equal to 7. So our left hand side it is A minus B minus C. What is the value of A? It is 4. So put 4 here. Minus value of B it is 2 minus c it is 7. So first we have to solve bracket. So 4 minus 2 it is 2. 2 minus 7. Again the same condition that we have to subtract the larger digit from the smaller. So draw the number line. There is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and here minus 5. 
So what is the first number? It is 2. It means we have to start from this 2. Now how many steps we have to come backward? 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It means our answer is minus 5 in this case. Take right hand side. It is A minus B minus C. Write the values. A is equal to 4 minus B is equal to 2 minus C is equal to 7. So 2 minus 7 as we find the result here it is minus 5. And here is a relation that when two negative signs comes together then they become positive sign. It means 4 plus 9 is equal four. sorry 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. 9 is a whole number. 9 is a whole number. But minus 5 is not a whole number. Both sides are not equal. It means it is not equal. So associative property is not verified. Property is not verified here. This is our And what? 
what is the value of c? It is 2. That if we subtract a minus b, then we get the c as an answer. It means that a is equal to b plus c. Then a is equal to But 
minus 4 is not a whole number. Is not a whole number. This is our property number 6. Then our property 5th. Sorry, 4th and 6th are similar. That or they are reverse to each other. That our property number 4th. That if we subtract 0 from any whole number, then we get a whole number. But if we subtract any whole number from 0, then we doesn't. 